Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. Today, we're going to be looking at another demo of an upcoming survival game. In fact, I believe it's already out. I think at least some of it is, and you can actually um, buy it on itch.io. Never used itch.io before. This game was requested by Jimmy Fails. Um, it has a free demo, so we've downloaded it, and we're going to give it a go. So... It's a first-person cosmic horror game, which sounds interesting. Um, it's called Cordosis, or Quiodosis, depending on who you, who's speaking. Um, not really sure where the name's from. I'm assuming it's some kind of uh, syndrome or something. Not 100% sure on that one. But uh, it's a game that invites you to experience a unique cosmic survival sci-fi horror game centered around alien abductions. You play as a journalist who travels to the small village of Dunahot, Dunahont, Hungary, where a mysterious outbreak has turned the locals into deadly creatures. You must explore the village, near, uh, the nearby forest, uh, and the secret underground facility where you will encounter terrifying aliens, puzzles, and secrets. So I'm not really sure what to expect. This game looks like it's got a lot of interesting features. It's made by one person. And from what I can understand, it's, it's getting some pretty good reviews uh, of people that have played the demo anyway. So, without any further waffling, because there's not a huge amount to say here, uh, I think we should jump into it. Um, alien abductions. That's definitely a unique angle, uh, something that we, we haven't really seen before. Uh, I'm certainly down for it. Now, this is my first time, as I said, using itch.io. So we are going to switch back over. Uh, get the cam going, I suppose. Yay, there we go. And we're going to have a go. So, yep, free demo, itch.io. I don't think it's on Steam or anything else yet. Um, it is what it is. Uh, apparently, it's going to like come to Steam at some point. But we'll see. Let's launch and have a go. I haven't launched this. I haven't set it up. I haven't done anything. So this is all going to be fresh. I know it's first person and I know it does involve guns as well. Oh, of course, we have to do all this installing and downloading and stuff. But I have a new Internet system that seems to be working OK at the moment. We've gone 5G. Uh, yes. And I think I need to swap my headset over. There we go. All right, well, that's seeming creepy already. However, I'm guessing for some reason OBS is not picking up. There we go. Sweet. Right, so, new game, options, ooh, that's weird. Really weird. Not sure if I like that. Kind of hard to read. Let's go for controls. I'm... WSD is movement, look is mouse. Crouch control, run. All right, oh, we can lean. Oh, that's interesting. Right, well, I'm assuming the game's going to kind of explain this sort of stuff as we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's defaulted to uh, 1024. Jeez, we haven't seen that for a while. All right. That's fine. And that's basically all we have. Anamorphic lens flares. RGB grain, no. Uh, sure, we'll have some lens flares. I don't know. I don't usually like all of these effects, to be honest. Um, right, we'll give that a go. 
Uh, don't really think we need any of this. We'll have a lot of uh, anti-aliasing, post-processing. Go on, give us all of the effects, all of the things. We should be fine. Okay. Right, let's go new game and see what this is about. In this demo, you're about to experience the final segment of the Cordosis Episode 1, The Hum. The game contains flashing lights which may not be suitable for photosensitive epilepsy. The game is a work of fiction. Any similarities to actual organizations, events, persons, living or dead are purely coincidental. This game relies heavily on alcoholism, drug abuse, abductions, depressions, and you will play as a mentally ill person. Hey! This game features manual saving only. Alright. Sure. While UAP slash UFO sightings in Hungary have been scarce, with only a few reported cases, an overwhelming majority of approximately 90% of these sightings have been concentrated in a specific remote rural area. As a Hungarian, I've always found it intriguing how little is known about this region of my country. With only a few small villages scattered throughout, it remains relatively unknown. Their stories served as my primary inspiration during development of this game. Okay. All right. <sighs> right. This game mode is designed for players who want to enjoy the atmosphere and story of the game. Ah, right. Okay. So we can choose the difficulty. The default intended and preferred way to fully experience the game. See, this is the default mode. This is what the game wants you to play on. The best experience. So that's what we're going to go with. Hmm. Getting some Resident Evil uh, 7 vibes. Okay, so the church should be somewhere around here on the right. Oh shit, we're driving. Brave. On the right, you say? Alright. So this is twin ah oh, okay, twenty seventeen October ninth. Okay. Shame we can't put the gas put the metal I'll put the pedal to the metal I should say. We're gonna have to slowly creep along. I mean visually it's nice. Very nice. It's actually going to be in. No, it's not in English. Of course, it's not in English. You wouldn't expect it to be. Huh? I guess somebody has been here before us. Curious. Getting a little bit of stuttering. Which, let's be fair, we shouldn't be. Hmm. This place certainly has seen better days. Oh, I'm getting Silent Hill vibes. Here it is. I should park the van somewhere safe. Uh, what about in this ditch here? There we go. Look behind you to your right to exit. To your right? Really? Oh. Oh, dude, we're in like a camper van. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, big Resident Evil 7 vibes, and that's no bad thing. So we've certainly been hitting the hooch. What the hell is that? Her stuff. She always was crafting, always had some project going on. This controller, well, it's the only thing she left before she disappeared. All right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that certainly looks like a hodgepodge of junk.
I wonder if it plays Tetris. A prototype switch. To equip the controller, so click the middle mouse down. Oh. Wait, what? So. Grab release. Rotate item. What? So is this our inventory? Media. We can beep all the boops. All right. Select module. Uh, switch module. Ah. What the hell? Alright. Uh, sure. That's weird. And a flashlight with some kind of attachment system. Sure, we'll have that as well. Hold down to move the mouse to interact with doors. Alright, so it's kind of like an amnesia system. Got ya. I don't know how much we have to open the door before we can get out. Can we even get out? Yeah, it's going to be like one of those janky physics systems, isn't it? Is it because we need to give ourselves more space? This thing barely moves. I think we're stuck in the mud as well, but that's fine. Right. Let's try that again. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, let's have a little look around, see what we can find. It's certainly going to be janky. I'm getting that. Oh! What is that? Oh! Right, that... Alright, I mean... <laughs> okay, that's really freaking weird. Not gonna lie. Not sure what to make of this nonsense. Um, I kind of like the idea of this. You got the two bullets there and then, you know... It, it, okay. How do we put that down again? Middle mouse button. Alright, that's kind of strange. The idea that we can search and pick objects up. Very, very cool. And I'm all for that. Yeah, well that door's going to stay closed. What is that? Is that... No, not sure. Alright. does make me wonder... Oh, this is going to be one of those games where you're going to want to search and interact and fondle with everything, isn't it? Um, Alright. So if we find any drawers or anything, we're going to be wanting to uh, have a good route around and see what we can find. We've got two bullets. We don't have a gun, though. Which is curious. Now, down there is the way we've got to go, I'm guessing. Or is it? Yeah, I guess so. So, does anything spoopy happen if we get to the end of the road? Or is there any goodies over here? The wall is supposed to be that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We're just having a good look around. Might find another couple of bullets on the floor. You never know. We can only hope. I guess we can't search any of these cabs or anything. Sounds like there's a road sweeper outside as well, so that's kind of ruining the ambience, but we'll roll with it for now. Right.
we search all of these? Looks like the wind is certainly starting to... Wait a minute, there's another one of those up there. The wind's certainly starting to kick up a bit. I guess nobody's uh, allowed to use that water. Pump. Fine. Visually, this is really... We are getting some screen tearing. Bizarre. I haven't seen screen tearing for years. Don't like the way these drawers kind of go back in. You've got a time limit to basically open and... Ah, it's that wonky-ass amnesia system. Right, another two bullets. We'll take those. At least we can combine these, which is cool. Anything in the other drawers? Yeah. <laughs> Don't like... Right, so that... No, that one... Is that getting stuck on that drawer? It is, but... Yeah, alright, whatever. Alright, already not enjoying the way we interact with... Ooh. With the scenery. The whole click down mouse to pull out. It... It kind of works, but not really. You don't seem to know what angle you... you, you wanting to pull the mouse in because it just I don't know it's a bit squiffy doesn't seem to work very well right are we supposed to be going this way or are we supposed to be going down the the well or down the hole let's try going down the hole might be I don't know some guns or something Ah, oh, it's really going to piss me off that we can't properly, like... Yeah, that's just AIDS. That's really AIDS. Don't like that. So, we have a hat. I guess we're not wearing the hat. Ooh. We can beep the boop. Yeah, this always... I mean, the way the interactivity is working here... Um, what did we do? Oh. The hell is this? Oh, so this is like a big item storage box? I guess? Is it? Doesn't appear to actually be anything in there. Alright. Yeah, it seems like it's one of those games that's designed for VR. Using those VR dildos that you have to hold. Um, not so much designed to be played with a mouse. But, okay. Okay. It's one of the things that annoyed me about Amnesia as well, that whole interactivity, you know, literally clicking and pulling and tugging things. It sounds good on paper. The only problem is it just doesn't work very well. And it looks like that problem has carried over into this game. Very pretty, though. So, control, crouch... Movement's good. And the audio is very good as well. It's very creepy. Yeah, I, I do think walking up to, like, containers and pushing X button to, you know, search them just works better. I don't feel any more immersed that I have to manually try and drag a drawer out. The first wall. I 
I have to get in somehow. Because I'll tell you what it always reminds me of. Like, I know they're going for immersion, but if you're here in this situation, you've got two hands most likely that probably work. So you don't, you wouldn't be struggling and, and you know, really trying to open the door or open the drawer or whatever with your elbows whilst trying to lick the back of your neck, would you? Which is what it feels like when you're you're trying to manipulate something in one of these games. Oh. Somebody just took a photo of us. Now, nothing that you can interact with either seems highlighted. I guess we could probably go through there. Nope. Yeah, nothing's highlighted, so it's one of those games where you could potentially get stuck. Oh, this looks jank. Would not want to be crawling through here. I hope we've had our tetanus shot. Oh, all that barbed wire. Well, guess we're through the first wall. Whatever the hell that wall is indeed doing there. Whoever built it. Keep exploring. Ooh. Hello. Oh, look. Yeah, it's a cat, but it's got like... Is that a cat or is it a duck? Can't make... Oh, no. Put that thing away. Put that away. The cat, but it's fucked up. Looks like it's been got with the uh, Resident Evil parasites. So the ambient music is incredibly well done. Okay, so what do we have here? So yeah, this is made by like one person apparently. Something's inside there. Can't go across. Oh boy. Um... Right. Oh. So something is blocking the door. Is there another way inside? Either that or we're trying to open the door with our elbows again. Don't think we can like mantle or um pull ourselves up on a ledge. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Ah, can we grab hold of these? No. So, it does look like there's a door, there's a way in up there. Can we? Ah. We. Yeah. So we can interact with that. Somehow. Alright. So. I guess. Can we like climb through here? Got 
that one out of the way. Uh, don't think we can sneak through there, though. Can we pick up whatever is blocking this door? Apparently not. Alright. There has to be... Ah, right. What have we got going on here? We're pretty quick at getting up that ladder. I like... I like that. Alright, this looks a little bit more promising. There we go, we've got a big sack of something in the way. As you do. Hold to grab an object. Yeah, well, we've already discovered that. R to rotate. This woman that we're playing as, we are playing as a woman, she's got the strength of 50,000 men, which is always appreciated. Maybe she's going to be an Amazon, like Jill. Right, let's drag... Jesus Christ, like, I would be amazed if I could lift that. <laughs> Let alone this poor little woman. Alright, so I guess we can't do anything with that. We can go down there. And there is something beeping. Alright. Fuel can. Probably want to get that out of the way. So, ooh. That was like... Sounds like something's above us. Something's going on back in the shed. Look at these cobwebs. They look really good. Kind of almost getting Last of Us vibes as well because of the cordyceps. It's not cordyceps, obviously. Someone's been here to put lights. Ooh. Of course there's a some sort of crop field. That's where the aliens go to. Wow, like just, uh, you, visually this game is insane. It really is. Okay. So I'm guessing we need to get in here. Somehow. Got some big heavy shutters by the look of things. Now, is that barbed wire all the way around? It is. I'm guessing we can't jump. Unless... Got to follow this. Through the fields. So what is that? And where is it going? Hopefully there's a gun over here. There's things breathing. I can hear them around me. Leads to another tower. Alright. Or is it the same tower? Nope. Guess not. It's going to keep... <laughs> Following this weird spaghetti tower. 
hopefully it's going to go somewhere. Hey! You would not want to be here, would you? Just for the reason that <laughs> if you needed to make your way back now, I, yeah, good luck. Good luck. What are these towers? Hmm. Ooh. That one's got a re Ooh, that one had a really... Why shit floating? Oh dear. Ah, uh, that's not normal. Hey, dude. Are we cool? Have we... Ah, oh, we can't save the game. Ah, uh, I hope we're cool. I mean... There's something in our brain now. What? What? What is happening? Still can't save the game. What the hell was that, dude? Do we go towards it? I don't know if we're supposed to be going towards it or away from it. Guess we. Right, our torch does work. But we can no longer. We can't run anymore. I think she's regretting her decision. I think she wants to go home now. And that light is still there. Can't save it, no. Whoa. That's some cool symbolism. Oh, we, there's an invisible wall. We can't. All right. Guess we have to go towards it? That is just like... It's like the light at the end of the tunnel, but I'm saying, dude, you, you you don't probably want to walk into that. Now, it wouldn't let... Yeah, see, look, there's like an invisible wall thing here as well. Um... Yep. Yeah. Right, trouble is... Okay, okay, so there was just like a little narrow path. I think. And... <laughs> oh god, can we even get back up there? Um... Oh. I don't know what that brain symbol that comes up is. In the corner. She is not having a good time. Alright, well, onwards, I guess, towards the orb. Oh! That's probably not good, right? I think ET's trying to phone home. Keep going. Keep pushing. It's getting brighter. Who needed retinas anyway, I guess? Should have brought some... some oh, look. Look, there's like a... Evening, Squire. 
I've come to complain about the light pollution. Oh, there's a few of them. Oh, they're people. Is he like the Pied Piper? Except instead of rats, he's... Attracting people. Certainly seems to be the case. At the end of the demo? I guess so. All right, I, is that the end? I thought the demo was like an hour long or something. I'm gonna have to look up that syndrome. Oh, nope. Still going. Do we actually have anything? Oh, I can't even pull out our inventory now. All right, <laughs> we're like teleporting around. is going on. Oh, hi. I saw that little ET guy waving at us. I guess we don't have a flashlight anymore. Uh... Well, that's better. That puts me at ease. Not sure how up to code this place is. Probably not very, would be my guess. All right, looks like we've only got one option. I wonder if we're going to see, like, any monsters or anything. Nothing to interact with. Unless, like... Whoa, we really climb ladders. Unless this is now, like, a snippet of Chapter 2. We've played a snippet of Chapter 1. This is now a snippet of Chapter 2. And things... oh. Some kind of alien artifact. Can we look at it? Partially filled syringe, used for healing. Heavy solid drive shaft. Used for... beating things with? The inventory is an interesting idea. Okay. Hack. Uh, okay. So we can hack things. An old handgun. Hopefully, still reliable. Yeah, hopefully. Can we... So how do we use... Ah, oh, wait. Oh. Okay. So one is our beating stick. 
Three is the pistol. Alright, that... Oh, that's weird, man. Uh, medicine that temporarily sharpens the senses, making item detection easier. All right. So, yeah, very, very much Resident Evil 7. And 4, for that matter. More handgun rounds. Right. So. We still can't save the game, either. That's such an interesting perspective. Because are we wearing a body camera or something? Because otherwise the gun is like literally up here. Hmm. Well, whatever. I guess. I can imagine this game would be amazing in VR. Oh. Hello, you fucking alien bastards. I mean... Okay. <laughs> like a weird... baby thing? Baby E.T.? Hmm. So that's the demo. I genuinely hope you found enjoyment in this brief glimpse of Cordosis. Rest assured, the full release holds much more in store for you. And the journey is far from over. Founders Edition. I'm excited to share the Cordosis Founders Edition is in the works. This expanded edition will offer more content, including an exclusive episode. With your support, I can bring these editions to life. Supporting the Cordosis Founders Edition means not only getting a richer, more immersive experience, but also helping shape the game's future. Your contribution directly impacts the scope and depth of the adventure. Together, we can unlock even more mysteries and excitement. I also want to assure you that the Cordosis will never be stuck in an early access state. The goal is to deliver Deliver a complete polished experience that lives up to your expectations. Your support will help me achieve this vision. And expanding my scope way beyond its limits. The Cordosis Founders Edition is available to download right now. Right, yeah. And the thing is, this game's only like, uh, off the top of my head, it's like £6 or something. Or £6.99. I think you can choose if you want to pay more than that. Um... But the minimum is, is, you know, like seven pounds or whatever currency you use. And from what I've seen, it seems like a pretty good deal, actually. The game is very, very polished. Um, it looks fantastic. It sounds even better. Um... And the whole alien abduction angle is something that we don't really get very often. So I'm kind of really interested in this. The inventory system seems strange, but I think that's just the device itself that you have is really bizarre and really weird. But it kind of just functions like a normal, you know, um, inventory. Uh, not sure what the hacking is about. I don't, the hacking in this game? Sure, why not, I suppose. The enemies seem... Well, they're like pink aliens, really. Pink baby alien things. But if you noticed, um, from behind, it looked like he had all of his organs exposed. Which is curious. So is that a human that's been uh, mutated into an alien, or...? Because it didn't look like the alien that we saw that was, you know, uh, attracting all those people earlier. Um, the way the wildlife has been changed and mutated is very, very cool as well. Yeah, 
I'm on board with this. And thanks to Jimmy Fails for actually bringing it to my attention because I, I I hadn't heard anything about this game before. Um, the only thing that's going to irritate me, I think, is how you have to pick up and manipulate items. It is what it is. You know. But yes, I think this one could be fun. Maybe we'll get through this one next year. Anyway, guys, thank you very much uh, for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Now, hopefully, with my new internet, I can actually reply to comments, which which is good. I can open web pages. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna do some more research on this game. Um, hmm, for six pounds or seven pound, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's worth a tenner at least, isn't it? I think so. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys.